Hello everyone. In this class, we'll try to learn about what is stethography. Steth means chest, graphy means recording. Recording of the movement of the chest is called as stethography. The aim of this experiment is to record respiratory movements of chest under various conditions. The apparatus that we require are stethograph, Mary's or Brody's timer, chemograph, and stopwatch. Stethograph consists of a corrugated rubber tubing with a side tube and attached chain. The side tube is connected to rubber tubing which connects it to Mary's timer having a rubber diaphragm over which a lever with a pointer. The pointer records the respiratory movements on the moving drum. The, the inspiration is recorded as a downstroke and expiration is recorded as an upstroke here. So when you inspire, there will be expansion of the thoracic cavity, there will be stretching of the corrugated rubber tube which increases the volume in the air but decreases the pressure in the tube, corrugated rubber tube. So diaphragm is uh, pulled down, the diaphragm of the Mary's timbre is uh, pulled down. Okay, so you can see here the stethograph is uh, tied over the chest when the person uh, inspires the corrugated rub rubber tube is going to uh, increase the volume is going to increase in the corrugated tube because it is corrugated and pressure is going to decrease so that is why negative pressure is created in the Mary's chamber okay, so that is how the lever is going to move in downward direction so inspiration is always uh, a downstroke okay. so similar diagram so when chest expands the negative pressure created in the Mary's chamber and uh, it is going to record the downward deflection on uh, the moving chromograph and vice versa the procedure to record uh, the movements of the chest subject is seated comfortably with uh, his back to the apparatus the stethograph is tied around the subject's upper part of the chest stethograph is connected to the timbre and the lever marks over the chromograph the subject is asked to breathe normally he must remain as quiet as possible so that only movement uh, is that due to respiration after each procedure, few normal respiratory movements are recorded. I record the following on the moving chromograph, and the speed of the chromograph is said to be uh, at the speed of 1.2 millimeters per second. The recording of normal respiration. A few respiratory cycles uh, should be recorded. So then. Uh, the effect of voluntary ventilation as the subject to hyperventilate that is the increase in the force and rate of respiration for 45 seconds to one minute what you observe is a short period of apnea will be seen after hyperventilation and this phase of apnea occurs due to the hypocapnia that depresses the respiratory center Then to see the effect of breath holding, uh, one should see the effect of uh, effect after inspiration and uh, expiration. The subject sits quietly for a few minutes breathing normally. So then restrict him to hold his uh, breath as long as possible in the following position. At the end of quiet inspiration, at the end of quiet expiration, at the end of uh, maximum inspiration and at the end of maximum expiration. So these are the uh, the findings that you observe uh, during breath holding time. So this is breath holding uh, after quiet inspiration and this is breath holding after quiet expiration. The time for breath holding is more for after quiet inspiration than expiration because during inspiration the person is going to hold more amount of oxygen and uh, that will stimulate the respiratory centers quite late and uh, these recordings they are breath holding after the deep inspiration and this is after deep expiration okay so obviously uh, 
after deep expiration there is more amount of oxygen is available and less amount of uh, carbon dioxide which is produced and it is the stimulation of the respiratory center is going to be delayed so so that is why breath holding time is more with the uh, deep inspiration than uh, the expiration the point at which uh, breathing can no longer be voluntarily inhibited is called as breaking point the breaking point is generally reached when alveolar po2 is 56 mm of hg and alveolar pco2 is 9 49 mm of hg either an increase in pco2 or decrease in po2 stimulates central and peripheral chemoreceptors which in turn stimulate respiration through respiratory centers thus influencing the breath holding time the normal breath holding time is around 45 to 55 seconds then you can see the effect of deglutition when the subject is asked to drink water what you observe is respiration is temporarily arrested uh, during the deglutition apnea so during uh, this phase Uh, the pharyngeal phase of deglutition uh, the center uh, the deglutition center inhibits the respiratory center then effect of speech as the subject to talk what you observe is a deep inspiration that is during down stroke and the expiration is gradual and is interrupted by small waves the sounds are produced during expiratory phase here then effect of cough ask the subject to cough what you observe is a deep inspiration followed by a few short expiratory blasts that occurs during upstroke and sudden increase in intrapulmonary pressure increases the velocity of the expired air then to see the effect of exercise ask the subject to carry out exercise for 1 minute then Uh, you record the chest movements after the exercise what you observe is hyperventilation continue to occur even after cessation of exercise and this happens because to repay the oxygen debt the difference between hyperventilation and exercise is after voluntary hyperventilation you will be able to see the phase of apnea but after uh, hyperventilation after exercise uh, the hyper uh, hyperventilation still continues to repay the oxygen debt so here you can see the effect of deglutition here there is a, a temporary phase of uh, apnea which occurs because of the stimulation of deglutition center to the uh, respiratory center to inhibit respiration and this is the recording after the phase of voluntary hyperventilation you can see the phase of apnea uh, and uh, so this is recording after the exercise and here the respiration continues to occur even after the cessation to repay the oxygen debt so this is in brief about the recording the movements of uh, respiration that is stethography Thank you.